you think you know every, you know, you've got every angle looked at. Um, LTCM was very big, very big positions, and the people running it knew that, and it was financed that way. It was not financed overnight money. It was all termed out. Swaps, financing, everything was termed out. So that's what you think is the right thing to do when you have big illiquid positions, all right? And so you had all of the stuff turned out. Now, it was a mark-to-market firm. It had two-way mark-to-market collateral on its positions. So what do you think happened when the events started to get bad and risk managers or bosses started saying to their desks, reduce your risk to these markets, reduce your risk exposure to LTCM? You know, this is the banks. And guess what they got from the desk back? We can't. Why? Because we're termed out. We did deals to term things out because that was the prudent thing to do if you have an illiquid position. So the dynamic that I didn't take account of was, and this is, please, don't hear this as saying anyone's trying to do us in. What's the thing that the person who's going to desk is going to do then if they can't get out? They're going to try to get as much cushion as they can on, the, on their risk. So what do they, how do they get that? They mark the positions in their favor. Not to try to make money, because it's just marking for collateral. It's not like you're buying and selling it. So it's not about making profits. It's about getting um, as big a cushion as possible, the most collateral you can. And you can do that by always marking the position in your favor. I can tell you every single case, every single position in September, that happened every day. And again, I don't say that as poor us or bad things or anything. I'm saying that's a natural reaction. What I hadn't anticipated, of course, is a feedback. That means the NAV goes down on a mark-to-mark -mark basis. And you can see where that goes. So one thing I can, you know, I, I know it's specialized, but it's more in the spirit of saying, you know, we had people there who had 15 years of market experience of the same size globally. This was not a bunch of, you know, these were very experienced. We had someone who was a former vice chairman of the Fed, you know, as a, as a partner. So in terms of crisis management, that sort of thing was there. But I guess what I've learned is always things to learn. And, you know, I recently mentioned this thing on marking because I never would have thought of that. But as it turned out, that created a correlated, just, in, just personally for LTCM, nobody else, I mean, a correlated set of events that had a feedback to NAV that I, I confess I never would have thought about. So that may sound rather specialized, but it's more a story, because otherwise we'd be here for hours and, you know, you've got much better things to do with the day. Um, but, you know, it, the message is <laughs> you try your best and you learn and, you know, um, you just have to have people there prepared to deal with, with the unknown. And, and analysis can only go so far.